you know there's a new fruit on the Oregon landscape, and it's not an apple, a pear, or a grape. Hi there, Grant McComey here, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. No, this is a fruit that is new to Oregon, but it's one that dates back 6,000 years as a cultivated crop. So join us as we explore the new Oregon Olive Mill. It's waning days of another Oregon wine grape season as vineyards show off colorful leafy leftovers that light up the hills near Dundee and Yamhill County. But just across the way at Red Ridge Farms near Dayton, there's another harvest just hitting its stride. It's not the most attractive tree in the world. It's a little gangly, you know, but it's got its moments of beauty. If beauty's in the eyes of the beholder, Oregon's latest olive crop is downright gorgeous to orchard owner Ken Durant and his son Paul. It's, uh, topography matters. The bold entrepreneurs have planted 13,000 olive trees across 15 acres with varieties that sport exotic names like Arbukina, Arbosana, Coronaki. The Durants hope to complement Oregon wine country with something new. It's an oil yielding type of fruit. You know, it's not like the big, you know, mission type olive you can stick on your pinky finger or, or you see in a cup. Stuff with garlic or a pimento That's and right. stick in a martini. You know, it's just a different type of, of intended use for the fruit. Paul adds that olives require less care than grapes. They're bird proof and easily harvested. But there is one worry on everyone's mind, Oregon's cold, downright nasty winter weather, where snow can pile high, last for weeks, and take a toll on young olive trees. Still, Ken Durant ambitiously offers, you can't learn to swim in the shallow end, and besides. Olives are being grown in a climate in Europe that's very similar to what we have here, even including the hard winters. So the secret is, is for us to have enough good fortune to build a significant root ball so that if we have a bad event, we'll have recovery. You know, my parents just have been always doing something new. So getting into all this wasn't a big surprise. The fact that my dad went out and procured a state-of-the-art mill, you know, built this beautiful building around it, um, that was probably the biggest surprise. The process of milling is impressive. Coats are empty, stems and leaves are separated, and the olives are tumbled in a mixer where blades blend a mashy paste that goes round and round. Eventually, heat and centrifugal force separate solids and water. The result is gorgeous green oil that doesn't get any fresher than this. Well, it will probably be somewhat bitter and kind of pungent. Should have a little bit of fruit, almost a little buttery, and then you get hit with a little bit of heat. At the back end. At the back end, yeah, a little that, bit of heat. Yeah, that's from the fruit. I mean, that's a little bit of spice. That peppery taste will kind of tend to stay in the oil. Last year, the Durant's Oregon Olive Mill produced and bottled 350 gallons of extra virgin oil. They hope to grow even bigger this year. The market is vast with plenty of room to grow. America's love affair with olive oil is pegged at 70 million gallons a year and for all the right reasons. You know, it's a monosaturate, it's high in antioxidants, and I think the one thing that olive oil has going for it is that it has really good flavor. That's the big selling point, is taste as much as anything, and that it is really good for you. The Oregon Olive Mill offers olive oil tasting, and you can even spend the night in a fully furnished apartment with a stunning view to the surrounding hills. The property is open for exploration so you can wander and watch and learn about a new enterprise that's taking root in Oregon. So that's 100% Oregon oil. Dark, you know, really rich in color. Yeah, try that, Grant. Cheers. Very good. It really is something special, and it's something you can check out at a number of upcoming special events. We provided all the details and contact information and the directions to the Oregon Olive Mill at Red Ridge Farms right here on the Travel Oregon website. So until next week, get out here and explore the Oregon outdoors and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.